Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about two free drawing tools for the Mac. So in my book, The MacMost.com Guide to Switching to the Mac, I talk about how there's really no way to edit images on your Mac when you first get it. You can adjust some things in iPhoto and do some things with Preview, but if you want to actually draw on an image, you've got to go to a third-party tool. There's two free ones that you can get and start editing images right away. Paintbrush is a very simple drawing tool. You can start with a blank image or open an existing one. Then you can paint on it using a brush tool, eraser, bucket fill, selection, and so on. Here we look at some of the basics. You can select the text tool and then add some text in any font on your machine and then place it exactly where you want on the image. You can also place a simple brush stroke under the text. You can adjust the brush size and color and draw freehand using a line or a curve. Here's how you might use Paintbrush to create a picture for an email party invitation. Find a picture of yourself and open it in Paintbrush. Then choose the oval tool from the tool palette. Set it to fill only instead of an oval outline by clicking on the solid rectangle. Then select a color if you like by clicking on the large color chipset here and you can choose a color in many different ways. Now draw an oval over one eye in the image. If it doesn't look right, you can always use Command Z to undo it and try it again. Now select the line tool. Draw a line across to complete the eye patch. Now select the text tool. Click on the image and a text entry box will appear. Type the message and you can also change the font if you like. Now choose File, Save As, and you can save it in a JPEG format for a more compact image to use in an email. You can download Paintbrush at paintbrush.sourceforge.net. Now a second program that you may want to check out is called Seashore. Now at first glance it has some of the same basic functionality, but Seashore actually goes a lot deeper. There are more tools like a clone tool and a lasso and gradient. Plus, the tools themselves have more depth. There are many options for a selection of paintbrush, for instance, and support for pressure-sensitive tablets. Just about every tool has a set of adjustments. Here I can use the clone tool to create a second stem for the apple. Seashore also allows you to export in a variety of formats and you can choose your options such as the compression level for JPEG image. You can download Seashore at seashore.sourceforge.net. Now a really high powered free tool is GIMP which is kind of a Photoshop clone as an open source project. You can get that for the Mac as well. In fact, Seashore is a subset of GIMP. So if you're looking for something simple and you don't want to mess with the millions of controls that GIMP has, then Seashore is the program for you. In the book, I mention a few more graphics tools that you can get for the Mac, including how you can also use Preview and iPhoto to edit some images. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.